to a nightingale and six odes of John Keats, the speaker describes heartache in a drowsy numbness, a feeling not caused by the happiness of the nightingale whose song enchants him. He wishes he could have a drink of wine or champagne and fade away with the nightingale into the forest dim. Because the nightingale will never know humanity's fretting, weariness, and fever, that getting older means to think is to be full of sorrow and despairs, the speaker exclaims that he will fly to the nightingale and urges it to fly away and will follow the nightingale through writing poetry about it. The speaker muses how many times he's been half in love with easeful death and imagines dying with no pain, believing the immortal nightingale will continue to sing its song long after he himself is gone. But was the song he heard a vision or a wakeful dream? Is he asleep or awake? Keats uses Ode to a Nightingale to explore feelings, particularly the kind of feelings he deems negative capability. He describes negative capability as a tactic poets use in pursuing a vision, even if it leads to confusion or uncertainty, rather than a firm declaration. The Ode also explores the theme of immortality versus mortality. Keats is intrigued that a nightingale is able to live on past its death through songs it passes down. This alludes to Keats's belief in literary immortality. Poets or storytellers create memorable poems that far outlive them. Using the nightingale to explore mortality and death, the speaker contrasts the bird's freedom of flight with man's stationary position as he ages and his sorrows deepen. The line, where youth grows pale and specter thin and dies, is a pointed allusion to the death of his brother Tom five months before. Keats delves into another theme common to his odes, the link between pleasure and pain. The speaker grapples with loss of pleasure and with death, moving from rapturous observation of the nightingale to thoughts of mortality. The nightingale lacks the sense of time and mortality that humans possess. As in his other odes, Keats continues to experiment with structure in Ode to a Nightingale. Here he uses a question and answer format that creates tension or contrast in the poem. He employs the basic rhyme scheme through each stanza, which gives the verse more structure than some other odes. Keats also continues the tradition of using assonance to create rhythm. 